Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. So now, today we're in Los Angeles, the land of dreams, stars, and apparently, royal roastings. Our man Prince Harry, the ginger prince who traded his crown for a Netflix deal, decides to step up to the mic at a Biden campaign event. Now, I know what you're thinking. What's a British royal doing at an American political shindig? Well, my friends, that's just the tip of this drama iceberg. Let me set the scene for you. We've got Joe Biden, bless his heart, who's just dropped a bombshell bigger than Harry's spare memoir. He's endorsing Kamala Harris for the 2024 presidential run. Talk about a plot twist. It's like when your grandpa decides to let your cool aunt take over the family business. You didn't see it coming. But deep down, you kind of dig it. So there's Harry, all set to give his speech, probably thinking he's about to drop some wisdom on us mere mortals about public service or whatever it is ex-royals lecture about these days. He's got that look on his face. You know the one part, I'm important, part, I miss my butler. He opens his mouth and bam. Kamala Harris comes in like a wrecking ball, Miley Cyrus style. Now, let me tell you something about Kamala Harris. This woman doesn't just break glass ceilings. She shatters them and makes a necklace out of the shards. And boy, did she decide to accessorize that day. She interrupts Harry faster than you can say Megxit and delivers a roast so savage it makes Gordon Ramsay look like a teddy bear. Oh, please, spare us the royal theatrix, Harry, she says, and I swear you could hear jaws dropping from Lay to London. But wait, it gets better. Kamala goes full throttle, calling out Harry for abandoning his duties and his family. It's like watching a live-action episode of The Crown, but with more sass and less cordy cameos. And then, oh boy, she brings up the Nazi costume incident. You remember that one, right? When young Harry thought it was a good idea to dress up as a Nazi for a costume party. Yeah, not his finest moment. Kamala doesn't just bring it up. She serves it up on a silver platter with a side of what were you thinking? The crowd is loving it. They're cheering, they're laughing, they're probably tweeting about it faster than Harry can call his PR team. And poor Harry? He's standing there, looking like he just realized he left the palace without pants on. It's awkward, it's cringeworthy, and it's absolutely riveting. But Kamala's not done. Oh no, she's just getting warmed up. She turns to the crowd and starts cracking jokes about old grandpa Joe Biden. It's like she's at a Comedy Central roast, but instead of roasting a celebrity, she's roasting the entire concept of monarchy. Now let's take a moment to appreciate the irony here. Harry, who's been on a non-stop tour of airing royal dirty laundry, suddenly finds himself on the receiving end of a public takedown. It's like Karma decided to put on a Kamala Harris costume and crash the party. And where's Meghan in all this, you ask? Probably at home, frantically googling how to spin a public humiliation into a Netflix special. Because let's be real, if there's one thing the Sussexes know how to do, it's turn drama into dollar signs. But here's the thing, folks. This isn't just about Harry getting his royal rear handed to him on a silver platter. This is about the changing face of American politics. Kamala Harris just showed the world that she's not here to play nice. She's here to win, and she's not afraid to step on a few royal toes to do it. It's a bold move, no doubt. Some people are loving it, praising Kamala for her no-holds-barred approach. Others are clutching their pearls, shocked that anyone would dare speak to a prince like that. But love it or hate it, you've got to admit, it's got people talking. And isn't that what politics is all about these days? Getting people talking, stirring the pot, creating those viral moments that spread faster than a royal wedding rumor. Kamala Harris just proved that she's got what it takes to play the game in the age of social media and 24-7's news cycles. But let's not forget about poor Harry in all this. Our ginger prince, who probably thought he was going to swoop in, drop some wise words, and fly back to his Montecito mansion feeling all warm and fuzzy. Instead, he got a reality check harder than a polo mallet to the head. You've got to wonder what's going through his mind. Is he regretting his decision to leave the royal family? 
Is he wishing he'd stuck to cutting ribbons and waving at crowds instead of trying to play in the big leagues of American politics? Or is he already planning his comeback, perhaps a tell-all interview with Oprah, where he cries about how mean Kamala was to him? One thing's for sure, this isn't the kind of publicity the Sussexes are used to. They're used to controlling the narrative, to being the ones dropping the bombshells. But Kamala just showed them that in the world of American politics, they're small fish in a very big, very shark-invested pond. And let's not forget about the impact this could have on U.S.-U.K. relations. I mean, can you imagine the awkward small talk at the next state dinner? So, Harry, remember that time Kamala roasted you like a Christmas turkey? Yikes. But here's the real question we should be asking. What does this mean for Kamala Harris's presidential bid? This woman just proved that she's not afraid to take on anyone, even if they've got a royal title. She showed she's got the wit, the sass, and the backbone to stand up to world leaders. In a political landscape where personality often trumps policy, Kamala just scored a major win. And let's be honest, in a world where we've had a reality TV star as president, is it really so shocking to see a vice president roasting a prince? This is the new normal, folks. Politics isn't just about boring speeches and handshakes anymore. It's about creating moments, about going viral, about showing that you can throw down with the best of them. Kamala Harris just threw down the gauntlet. She's saying, I'm here, I'm ready, and I'm not taking any royal nonsense. It's a bold strategy, and only time will tell if it pays off. But one thing's for sure, she's got everyone's attention now. As for Harry, well, he might want to stick to safer topics for a while. Maybe focus on his charity work, or his mental health advocacy. Or hey, maybe he could write another book, even more spare. How I Got Roasted by the Future President has a nice ring to it, don't you think? In all seriousness, though, this incident raises some interesting questions about the role of celebrities in politics, about the changing nature of public discourse, and about the kind of leaders we want in this increasingly complex world. Do we want politicians who play nice, who stick to the script? Or do we want firebrands like Kamala, who aren't afraid to ruffle a few feathers, or singe a few royal feathers, in this case? Whatever your opinion, one thing's for sure, the 2024 election season just got a whole lot more interesting. If this is how Kamala Harris kicks things off, imagine what she'll be like in the debates. I, for one, can't wait to see what happens next. So what do you think, my lovely viewers? Was Kamala Harris out of line, or did Harry have it coming? Is this the kind of politics we want to see more of, or should we go back to boring old speeches and handshakes? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Because trust me, with this election season shaping up the way it is, you're not going to want to miss a single update. So stay tuned, my friends, because if there's one thing I've learned from watching the Royals, it's that the drama never stops, and neither do I. Until then folks thanks for watching, we'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Thank you.